I always see a lot of people trying to put so much effort into hitting a good chip because they want to get the ball close to the hole, try to save par or save bogey. Eventually, they duff or top it. So today, I'm going to show you why and how we're going to fix it. Hi everyone, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. I'm by the chipping green today. I have a 54 degree wedge in my hand. It's really important that we catch the ball solid for chipping, all right? That's the number one rule. We must hit it solid, all right? I see a lot of people topping and duffing, right? There are the few main reasons why. So first of all, it's the setup, all right? The setup is super important because chipping is already all down to control. Right? We already need to think about how hard I need to hit the ball, how much backswing I need to take it back, how much follow through. Can you imagine that if you're not setting up correctly, that just adds more stress into the chip. First, why we top or duff? I see a lot of people maybe set up the ball way too far ahead. Like that means way closer to the target. All right, so the ball position is too much on the left, weight is on the right, or a lot of people having the handle too low. All right, I'm talking about basic chip. So handle too low and they're standing too far away. I also see a lot of people putting the ball position way too far on the right side, all right, handle way ahead, and then they ended up just hacking it down like that, all right? That is also a no-no for chipping. These are the few mistakes at the setup that will cause a duff or top chip. Or we also have people knowing that I need to get the ball up in the air, they try to scoop it, you know, then they will take the backswing a little bit too shallow, and then they try to scoop it and ended up topping the ball. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to fix it. All right, the drills that I'm going to show you is going to suit for shots around the green, okay? So the ideal chip will be getting a feel of getting the club to just brush the ground, right? You just want to collect the ball on the way down. You do not want to create any divot, okay? But you want to feel like you're brushing the ground. If not, you're going to top it, okay? So I'm going to show you how to set up properly first. So first of all, ball position. I would like for the ball position to be somewhat closer to the right foot, but you gotta make sure it's inside the right heel, okay? You do not want it to be way out here. So you're just gonna make sure it's somewhat, I would say inside the right heel, all right? Stance, the width of the stance could be just about a club face wide, all right? So this will be a good ball position and also good stance um, setup. Then from here, I would like for the handle to be a little bit just over the ball. We don't want it to be too far behind. That will be for higher chip shots or too far forward, but this will be more for a bump and run shot, okay? So for just normal chipping, handle just over the ball. So the setup is super important. And then from down the line, just gonna make sure that you stand somewhat closer to the ball. I would like for you to get the, hand, to get the club a little bit steeper. That means a bit higher, all right? You're gonna feel like almost the heel the heel of the club is almost off the ground. Okay, we do not want it to be like that. Because if you set up like that, you eventually either chunk the chip or you try to straighten it on the downswing and end up topping the ball, all right? So I would like for you to get the club a little bit steeper, that means a bit higher. And also, you can weaken your grip, all right? That means if this is your normal grip, Weaken the grip means the left hand will be moving slightly under. That means the thumb is going to be more on top of the grip. Okay, why I say that? Because if the thumb is more on top of the grip, it's going to be harder to use too much wrist on the chip. Okay, we're going to try to be more connected. We would like for you to not use too much of your wrist. Again, this is for normal chip, yeah? Of course, when we want to hit a high shot or bunker shot, we want to use a little bit of the wrist. Now we're trying to avoid uh, too much wrist action in the chip. So I would like for you to weaken the grip a little bit and lift the handle a bit higher. So I'm weakening the grip, lift the hand higher. All right, this is already a good setup position. All right, so I'm just gonna hit a normal chip with this setup position. So caught that actually a little thin. Ball position on the right, weight on the left. You gotta make sure you get your weight about say 70% on the left side because we do not want any lower body movement on the backswing or the downswing on, on the chip shot. So stand closer, weaker grip, hands a bit higher, weight on the left side, ball position right, and then just 
chip. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is especially for people that tend to top their chips a lot because they use too much of their wrists. Okay, so I would like for you to feel like your thumb is pointing at the ground throughout the chip. All right, if people that are using too much wrist, you see my thumb is both pointing that way, follow through, both thumb pointing that way, okay? So if you can feel like the thumb is pointing down at the ground, it's going to avoid too much wrist action, okay? So I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm going to set up. All right, nice setup position. I'm going to feel like the thumb is pointing at the ground, follow through, time, thumb pointing at the ground. Right. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, that's one of the drill. Just try to make it as simple as possible, right? You want to feel like you're collecting the ball really soft. It's coming off the face soft and smooth. Now I'm going to talk about how, what is our shoulder doing throughout the chip, all right? Okay, for the shoulder, it's actually tilting. My arms are moving. Of course, my chest is going to start turning a little bit, but we mostly is a shoulder tilt, okay? A lot of us try to turn our shoulder and if we turn our shoulder and if we turn our shoulder too much the club will move too far inside and then you're going to start topping the chip all right so just be really really careful because we're not in a normal setup iron position all right when we turn the left shoulder will go down but i'm standing close with a steeper steeper shaft plane if i'm going to turn it's going to create too flat of a backswing so it's just be really careful it's more of a tilt so when i tilt you can see that the club head is actually going straight out and straight through okay of course the longer it goes it's going to start moving on the arc right of course when it gets a little bit past this position it's going to start moving inward but it's really important that you know it's more of a tilt for the chip okay just going to make sure you don't turn too far inside now the next drill i'm going to show you is how to have a good angle of attack towards the ball for our chip all right so the drill will be i would like for you to use an alignment stick or you can even use a towel try not to use your shaft all right because we do not want to hit our shaft so put an alignment stick or a towel the side get about uh, try to put the ball about maybe two club face away from the stick all right and get into a good setup position just make sure you take a few practice swing make sure you don't hit the stick all right so if you have too flat of a chip you might end up hitting the stick so we want to make sure we're coming down slightly steeper but we want to just brush through the grass we i'm not trying to get to hit like that all right so we're just going to make sure we have a good angle of attack towards the ball so again set up nicely good setup position weight on the left just practice and not hitting the stick behind you so just spend some time chipping like that eventually you hit the ball a little bit more solid. Alright guys, that's all I have for today. This is a few drills that you can spend time working on around the chipping area. I know I always stress on practice your short game, practice your short game, but you got to make sure you practice it correctly with a good, um, good technique, alright? So I hope this video will be able to help you hit more solid chips, save some shot on a golf course. Of course, you'll enjoy golf better if you chip better, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again soon.